Hey everybody, we are back on making logic videos this week. We still have one more part with our four part series when I was traveling to the Czech Republic to do 360 research, but that's going to probably take a week or two to really finish. So we're back on making normal logic videos. Today, I wanted to look at creating a Doppler effect. So the Doppler effect is when, say, you're standing on the side of the street and an ambulance drives by. As it's driving towards you, the pitch is actually going up and then it goes past you and then the pitch takes a, a nosedive and goes lower. Now, that's because of physics. What's happening is, as the sound is coming towards you, those the pressure waves through the air are actually getting compressed, which makes it seem higher. And then as it goes away from you, uh, it's actually increasing the distance as it drives away. And so those pressure waves actually are expanded out and they seem lower. And at the point that it crosses you, you have probably the biggest change in pitch because it's going from higher, higher, higher to lower, lower right there. So that transition period. Anyway, in logic, what we have, and let me just load up a new instrument here so you could hear this. Let's do just a piano here, but I'm going to turn on patch merging so I don't get a bunch of extra sins and things. So, not sure. Let's not do piano. I think that actually wouldn't. Let's do strings where I can hold it out. So, we'll do cello. Perfect. As soon as it loads. Okay, it's loading up. Now on this channel where you have your stereo output, down below you can choose which type of panner you want. We have our stereo pan, our balance, or our binaural pan. Now binaural pan uses psychoacoustics in order to uh, emulate or change the position around your head a little bit. It uses things like interaural time difference, interaural level differences, and the effects of your pinna to really uh, move that around your head. This works best with headphones, although you will notice a little difference even on speakers. But say I'm going to hold the cello here. I'm going to move this around. Now, if you're on headphones, it should actually sound like it's moving around behind you. Now, if you've heard any of the 4D slash 8D, 16D things on like YouTube or other places, this is one of the main ways they're achieving that effect of sound moving around you. Anyway, we have here the option to turn on Doppler. which you can make sound even bigger if you change the size. So you can come up with some really cool effects here. Uh, in the case of what I was messing around earlier, I actually recorded some automation with some drums doing this. So you come up with some really interesting effects in terms of any of the instruments, moving them around, having them change a little bit of pitch as they move. I could really accentuate the drums here by changing the, the size there. Let me take this out of touch mode so I don't actually create more automation. So it has a nice effect to it. As I was showing you, it sounds actually really good with strings in a way. It can be used interestingly with drums. It could be used with any instrument. And you could either have it do like a move like that, or you could have it kind of circle around. 
with the Doppler effect, I just love how it adds that additional pitch element to what you're doing. Now, we didn't go through all of the binaural pan options here. I really just wanted to get to the Doppler because I think that in all of this, that was the interesting part of what I wanted to show. Just having that pitch change has you move it from front to back in the binaural pan. You could do like a Leslie type effect there. Okay, so that's what I want to show you today, just this Doppler effect. Hope you're having a great week. We are going to be doing a bunch more of these videos. Uh, probably we're going to try to do one every day this week just to really catch up. We've taken uh, almost two months off of making just these type of logic videos, and I want to get right back to it and start putting out the videos of the things I've been thinking about and planning about. If you have any special requests, Make sure you put in the comments below, but make sure you're also subscribing and hitting that notification bell. That way you'll get everything we're doing this week. Okay, that's it. Hope you're having a great week, like I said, and we'll see you soon.